my daughter. I have been meaning to ask you, were you serious when you said you won't have anything to do with a man again? Yes, I am serious when I said it. That's because I love my peace of mind. I don't want to be in a relationship where I would have to cry every minute of the day. I don't want to be with a man who will probably hit me at any slightest provocation. Then how can you meet your life partner? Or are you expecting God to throw an angel from heaven for you? Mom, <laughs> it's not just about getting married for me, it's about finding a good man. And it's rare. And this is the time you have to seek the presence of God. You have to seek his presence to help you make the right choice. Mom, so all the productive things I have to do with my time is to start praying for a good man. The man should pray for me so God will send me his way. Tony and my daughter, you have to sow on a fertile ground. When you sow on a fertile ground, you reap. You have to keep loving and living. That's part of life. You know my story. You know how, what I went through when I met your father. It wasn't easy, but today we all are enjoying it. We are enjoying from the labor. Hmm? Huh? Don't worry. <laughs> <Whoa. Tonya. laughs> Don't worry, okay? Why is Rita always going to my mom's house like this? Imagine Sam leaving his office to see that useless girl. My dear, maybe they are putting on um, planning important business. What kind of useless business is that? Eh? There's no business. He's afraid aware of it. That area is where you will not go. Yes. Because all fingers will be pointed back at you. So it's a no-go area, trust me. That means what they're doing is not genuine. I don't know. No. I, I didn't say no, that. No, no, no. What they're doing is not genuine. Chris, I don't know. You don't know? I don't. Okay. Okay. They are coming. <laughs> Grace! Uh, yeah, yeah. I didn't know you were around. When did you arrive? I've been around since four days now. Four days? Yes. And Sam said nothing. Wow. This is unlike Sam. <laughs> wow. How are you? I'm good. Okay. Good to see you. Thank you. Well, I'm about to head out for lunch now. Do you mind joining me? No problem. Good. But... I think Sam is seeing another woman that is taking his attention from me. Whoa. Okay. Um... Do you know any other woman in his life? None that I can think of. Um... Look, there is none I can think of, okay? But I'm sure we can talk about that over lunch. Let's go. Ah, you look good, Grace. you must marry It is obvious you did not go back to your office today. Why did you say that, my love? Your love? What is it, Grace? Do you want to kill me? Why is it that everything I do this nowadays you will find fault in it? Why? That is simple. Because you have changed. But I have explained to you how it all came to play out. And I promise to change in due time. Okay. Let me go back to what I asked you before you change the topic. Okay. It seems that you did not go back to your office. I did. Just that I was trying to finish up with some certain things before coming back home. And why are you asking? It would have been a shameful act if we were in your office and you're saying this nonsense. Grace, where are you driving at? What is going on? There is no way I will spend about three hours in your office and nobody told you. Even if your colleagues are new, they all notice me. We even communicated for a while before I left. Oh, that's... 
Wow. Who was the lady that you left with? Oh, okay. Hey, no, wait, wait. Do not lie to me that she came for a business. Because people in your office told me that there was no such thing in the book. Grace, are you now monitoring me or you are paying someone to do that? I will not pay anybody to monitor you. Do not defeat. Answer my question. Okay. The lady I went out with was uh, Rita, one of uh, Fred's friends. They are having issues. <laughs> so she came to ask me to help her plead with uh, Fred on her behalf. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> no problem. Are you, are you okay with that? I believe you. I got do anything to get to you on the whole Tony, why are you moody? Baby girl, I'm not happy. There's this guy that <laughs> What? I haven't even started talking. You've already started laughing at me. What happened? Mm -mm. I'm sorry. It's not like I'm laughing at you, but I'm actually laughing at the fact that you are being stressed because of a guy. Ah! Behold how the mighty has fallen. <laughs> Gina, you will not understand. I will understand if you make me to understand. I won't make you understand anything because you've already started laughing at me. Come on, I was only kidding. Just give me the gist. I'm kidding about my mood too. <laughs> I'm happy now. No gist. Please, Joe. Don't keep me hanging. What happened, Sam? He didn't let me know that Grace was around. A lot on my mind. It totally skipped my mind. Why won't it skip your mind? Huh? While you were busy connecting to your free Wi Fi. <laughs> oh, but you have to be careful. Your woman is in town. You don't want to mess up that beautiful relationship with that great girl. Hmm? I'm being more careful. Good. Did you run into Grace? Yes. She came to the office to talk about you. I took her out for lunch and she was just complaining that it seems you might have found another woman. Huh? You mean I'm jealousy? It's not about jealousy. I think her instincts, she's, her spirit is speaking to her like something is wrong. Probably, you know, maybe you changed your attitude towards her. I'm already working on that. Good. Uh, you remember the girl I took out for lunch? Tonia. Yes, 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 yes. What about her? Uh, I've been communicating with her. Yeah. Frequently. Ha! <laughs> 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 anyway, you're a gentleman. That's Lion's way. Not that. Look, she's not even giving me listening ears. You know? She never replies to my messages. I mean, something is not connecting. Don't worry. You know what you're going to do. Since she's not giving you listening ear, give me her number. Let me help you and fix her gearbox. And when you finish fixing her gearbox, you will now move into the entire engine. No, okay? no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't even go there. Look. There's, there's something about her. She's still not so comfortable. It seems like she's afraid of something, you know. That's what I'm saying. Just give me her number. I promise you, before one week, you'll see her on your apartment. No, Sam. Thank you very much for the offer. Thank you. This one is special. Hmm? This one is special. My guy. I think it's time we should go now. Everybody. 
for my love. I don't know how to tell you about this again, son. Oh. I've said it's time without number to stop living like this. You can be dressing like one commoner out there. You are a prince for heaven's sake. Mother, and I've also said it time after time that I should be left alone. This is the way I want to live my life. And it's not an issue. It's nobody's issue. Come on, Mom. I told Dad earlier that I don't like any of this stuff. Any of this royal motorcade, the maid, the, 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 the apparel, all that. I don't want it. This is exactly how I want to live my life. And everybody should just let me be. That's that. Please. Well, I want to remind you that we... The elders in council and I had a meeting concerning you. To get a woman so that they can talk about my coronation as a king. If you knew about it already, why are you not doing something towards it? If it is that difficult... Mother, I... please, 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 please! Come on! How can you say I'm not doing anything about it? Huh? I'm the one that needs a partner the more. It's more important to me than anyone else. All right. Um, it's okay. Um, Fred. Oh, I went to this occasion and uh, I met with this princess. Oh my word. She's so homely, charming, her thoughts melts heart. Wow. I kept talking with her and we exchanged contact. So since then we've been talking. And um, I would love to give you her contact. Oh, you here me. you go again, mother. I promise it won't be like the previous girl. Mm. She's not anything close to her. Believe me, what you need to see this girl. She's so lovely. I know. Well endowed. Mother, this is the same way you were confident about the last person. The same way. Um, but I assure you, joy is one in a million. I assure you, you can never make a best choice for my woman than myself, mother. Okay. I'm so glad you got all you wanted, all you needed. Oh, yes. Thank or should you. we go back again? Uh, um, no, we are good. We actually do not need anything, but because you insisted, we decided to pick a few. So, we're good. Okay, so like I promised you, today is going to be a day of stops after stops. So our next stop will be the Chinese restaurant. Oh, my God. Master Lee Chinese restaurant. And Chef Master Lee is my friend. He has promised me an exclusive meal for us. Whoa, Are you ready? So, yeah, of course, we're um, ready. Okay. No, can we? Yes, um, we are ready. We can actually go with you. Look, I promise you, Tonya, you will love the meals. Chef Master Lee is a professional and he's going to make you love every bite of his meal. Oh, oh my goodness. Yes, of course. We, we can we go. Yeah, we can, we can go. Awesome, awesome. Um, so, uh, yes. Can we go with my car? Um, we can actually... No, um, I'll drive, I'll, I'll drive behind you. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I can leave my car here. Yes. That's well, true. Yes, well, that's we, true. Can, we can after actually... him, yes. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, ladies. Oh, really? Okay, fine. Okay, yeah, we, we, so just be behind yeah, me. Yeah, right behind you. All right. Okay. Now me, you must marry. Are you sure you're concentrating? Because you've been smiling since you're driving home. What is happening? <laughs> My dear, I'm happy and I have all the right to be happy. You know we're not hospitalized, we are fine, so it's all okay. right. But can you at least tell me why you've been smiling? Girlfriend, you're looking for gossip, and that gossip, I don't have it. 
I am not looking for gossip, but I noticed you've been smiling like someone they you know, someone that is being touched in some secret places she <laughs> she she desires the most, you know? So please tell me what I need to know. Oh god. Okay, now you want to hear something from me. When you go to your boyfriend's house and have conversation, do you discuss that with me? Hey, wala, wala, wala. So what are you trying to insinuate? Is it now about boyfriend? Mm -hmm. Tell me because just me to know what is Nothing is happening. happening. I just want you to know that God is good. <laughs> we need to celebrate God is good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll start giving things for each other. No what? I said you're not going anywhere. You're not living here. Grace, what is the meaning of this? Eh? I say you're not leaving. You're not going anywhere. Ah, what's your problem? Listen to me, Grace. You have been acting strange since you came here. I'm acting strange? Yes. Between two of us, who is acting strange? You can say whatever you want to say, but you're not leaving here except you want me dead. Hey, listen to me. Mind the way you use words. You can say whatever you want to say, eh? It's not my business, but you're not leaving here. Grace, leave my way. I am going out. I don't know what has come over you. Why would you say something has come over me? Because you want to go and see that useless girl. Hmm? You want to go and see Rita? Eh? Come on, leave. Where do you get that from? That means you don't know the girl you got. Eh? Anyway, you can go. Well, I was only going there for a meeting. Meeting? Yes. But to clear your doubt, <laughs> I am not going again. Let's go inside and kill ourselves. We are each other. You will see it today. Come inside. Nonsense. You want to go and sit down? Fred, how could you do that? Concerning my happiness, I owe no one no apology or explanation whatsoever how I enjoy my life. Fred, you have girls you are trying to sort things out with. And you are hanging another one on your neck. Come on, you have to man up. Hey, stop it. Sam, don't you ever speak to me in that manner again. That you are my friend does not give you the moral right to tell me nonsense. I'm a prince. Don't ever forget that. Where are you going to? Sit down. Sit down. Well, I just remembered that you are a prince and you have right to make any decision you want with your king's men. So there is no need of me giving you a worthless advice. Come on, Sam, don't sound like that. Look, I have a lot in my head. I just... I'm a man. I just needed time to think. That's why I left the palace to come here. I'm sorry I spoke to you in that way. Okay? That's no problem. I understand. Let me just finish up my work and then we can go for a drink. You talk it, talk it. Come on, man. Don't be like that. You're still my man. Of course. Plenty <laughs> sacrifice for love. You're gone now. Fine, ma. Is your guy in? No, he's not in. Uh -uh. Do you know where he went and when he's coming back? Madam, I don't know where he went to. He's not uh, in. Jeku, what is it? Why are you franging your face? Why are you raising voice? <laughs> Today will be Sunday. Oh. Jeku. Uh, How are you doing? Today will be Sunday. Oh. I'm fine, ma. Please, is my baby inside? No, he's not in. Now the same thing I just told Stephanie now. Thank you. What is my business with what you told the ghost? <laughs> eh? I'm talking to you. Is Fred inside? Today will be Sunday. Morning, I can't go. No problem for him, I don't know the demon, no problem for him. Your mother is a ghost. Your father is a ghost. Your generation is a ghost. The demon the go. Idiot. Ghost nation. I don't blame you. you are, I've told you before. You are too ras. Leave this guy alone. Eh? Follow your type. They are everywhere. 
<laughs> Rita, I don't blame you anyway. Probably because you're wearing choir clothes and that's why you're coming to show yourself. Come and take that thing out of my way. Let me get the hell out of this place. I am not moving. I want you to fly. Fly above the car. Rita, come and take this thing out of my way. Welcome I said Adebo. I am not moving. I need you to fly. Plenty sacrifice for love, nigga. So, Mom, what was the new meeting all about? Um, there's a new development. So, you have to plan on relocating to the palace. I can't be attending the meeting with the elders in cancel while you're round and grown. All right. I Besides, can't. they are not happy about it. It's fine. I understand. So when are you planning on relocating? They will see me when they see me. <laughs> Fred. Mother? You talk like this because I am your mother. Do not speak like this to the elders in cancel, else they will find you. All right, I copy, okay? Is there any other thing, Mom? Because I'm famished right now. We have to get eaten. Perfect. I will let you know other things. Besides, after the meal, I will leave the two of you to get acquainted. This is Joy. Joy, Fred, my son, Hello. Princess Joy. Hi. Mother, you are full of surprises. Well, that is why I am the queen of this great kingdom. And that is more reason I love you so much. <laughs> you may leave. And uh, I'm back. Yeah. What did you say your name is again? Uh, Princess Joy. Princess Joy, yes. Princess Joy, and um, which kingdom do you hail from? Omochida. Omochida kingdom? Yes. Interesting. And um, what about your parents? Everybody's doing just great. Mm. And... Why are you interrogating me? Interrogating? Yes. <laughs> Come on, Fred. We're meant to be getting used to each other. True. Like, get to know each other better. Not this questioning and answer. Don't you think so? That's exactly what I'm trying to do. <laughs> get to know you better. Don't you have any question for me? <laughs> no, not at all. Really? Yeah. The Queen has already told me everything I need to know about you, and that's fine. Interesting. One more thing. No, the last one. The very last question. After this, no more. Can you tell me how you met my mother, the Queen? You ask again. Come on. A simple question. How did you meet my mom? Just want to know. Um, like I said before, Fred, I met your mom at a king's son's wedding. Mm. Are you okay? Are you satisfied now? Maybe. Maybe? Oh, you're so... <laughs> anyway, Fred, do you like what you see? Yeah. Did I meet your taste? What's your taste? Do I meet up with your taste? Maybe. Plenty sacrifice for love, nigga. Nigga, I to do anything. For my love, I fit to do anything. For sweet, I Fred, why are you doing this to me? 
Why are you treating me like an outcast? Why? Steph, what is it? What do you want? Really? What are you saying? Like you don't know what I am saying, Fred. What are you saying? Like you don't know what I'm saying, Fred. I'm talking about you and your new girlfriend. I saw you both the other day. Why? Really? Yes. So is that what it is now? You monitor me? Yes. I now monitor you. Because what you are doing is not good. Eh? I, I'm, I still have this one to battle. And you are adding another one to the list. Is it good? How dare you call me names? If I slap the hell out of you, Rita, your life will never remain the same. Trust me. Slap, slap me. You heard me. Try it. I will keep you where your types are kept. Hmm? I will lock you up. You know, Rita, you think you are made, yeah? You think you have money. Yes. Don't worry. Soon, hi, Stephanie, I will expose you. I will expose you, I promise you. Free. No, wait. Excuse wait. me. Friend, I am talking to you. It is because of you that this idiot is talking to me. Friend. Friend. Nonsense. Yeah, we will stay here and you will come back to meet me here. I know you will not go far. What is it again? Huh? What are you doing here? Look, Fred, I actually came to apologize for walking out on you at the office. Yes. I just can't start really talking and arguing a lot of things. No. That's why I came to apologize. I am sorry. Please. Apology accepted. Thank you. Are you happy? Yeah. All right. No. Sh sh should I come in? Goodness me. Steph, I'm just coming back from work. Can't you see? I'm tired and I deserve some rest. Yeah. All right? Yeah. So, can you allow me to rest? Huh? Afraid. Good. No, wait, 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 please. What? No, what? I'm still what? talking. What? Wait, please. Yeah, you're going to rest, but don't you think it's time for you and I to sit and talk face to face? I don't think it's out between you and that. You look into my eyes and look into your eyes. We sort everything out. Please. No. No, Fred. Hey, Jaku. Sir. Send this woman out of this house and make sure you lock that gate. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Bye-bye. No, no, wait. Madam. Madam. Fred. Madam. Fred. Madam. Come and get the hell out of my sight, if you Fred! It's me, your baby Steph. Mm. Madam! Zero to the minus one. Come on, get, get the head of this side. Madam, come on, be going. Will you get, get, get the head of this Fred! Madam. It's me, your Madam. baby Steph. Are you mad? Zero, zero to the minus one. Come on, be going, Madam. Fred! So if I speak, you not leave me here. This is your plan, Abby. What plan? That's why you've been avoiding me, Abby. What are you doing here? And Wait, what is this now? Who is this? Eh? What is this uh, one? Baby, let's just keep going. Go I'm sure you. Go here. Wait, wait. I'm He's sure my you boyfriend. Can... What? Yes. Don't listen to her, please. Please. Uh, Fred, what? what is all this now? You know I love don't, you. Don't don't embarrass me in public, please. What is this? I'm sorry. No, 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 no. no. This is not the time. Uh, uh, Tonya, wait. What are you doing? Fred, Tonya, wait. Tonya, what are you doing? I got do anything to get to you Hey baby girl Tonya What's the matter with you? This is serious. Did you fall out with your father? Because I can't say boyfriend for I know you don't have any. Baby girl. Talk to me now. I know that you're here so that we can talk about whatsoever is wrong with you. 
And if we don't get to talk about it, how are we going to sort it out? Tony, Tony, I'm glad you're here. Look, it's not what you think. Hold Excuse on. Excuse me, Tony, come here. What happened? What did you do to her? Um, we were together in my house, having a quality time. And an old friend bags in on us. Messed up the whole situation. Okay? Whatsoever it is that you did to her, really got her pissed. Because you can see. Yes, that's why I came to see you and found her here. Okay? Please. Let's go after her. I cannot lose her. Please. Okay? Can we? You can't lose her. And we're not going after her. We're not going after her? Yes. What? I need to first of all know what the problem is. So I can tell you how to go about it. Oh, Alright, um. Hey. Chidera. This is called doctor's prescription. Hey. What do I look like to you? An ATM machine. No, do I look stupid to you? Eh? What is it? Am I a fool to you? Tell me. Talk, talk to me. What is it now? Bring down your voice. Shut your mouth! You are in my house. Listen, I'm a very popular somebody in this neighborhood. Don't, don't raise your voice. I don't want my and neighborhood so to hear you. And so what? That I asked you to do a little task. Eh? Talk to Fred on my behalf. You could not do it. You have been taking my money and I'm taking oh, my money. Oh my Jesus. Eh? Am I a fool? You're even slapping me now. Just calm down. What is it now? We can go in and sort this out now. Go inside and do what? Sort this out now. Sort what out? See, whatever it is you have to say, say it outside and now. Why have you not spoken to Fred about me? Why is Fred still the way he is? Okay. I'm going to do it, please. Bring that down. Wait! I will tell you what happened. What happened? Let us go inside. I am not going inside. Don't Start me. talking. We are outside. I don't want my neighbor to hear me. Let, me, ah. let us go inside. Oh, my queen. Honestly, I, I don't I don't know what's wrong with him. My queen. Honestly, I am not happy. I don't know what is wrong with him. He's just treating me anyhow. He doesn't take my calls. He doesn't return any. Even my SMS, he doesn't even reply. Um, Joy, I'm so sorry there's nothing wrong. Believe me when I say that. You know, Fred is a busy person. Maybe you're calling at the wrong hours. Wrong hours? Mm -hmm. No, my queen, I don't think so. Because I've called in the morning, I've called in the afternoon, and I've called at night. Still, he will never pick or return my calls. I don't know. In that case, I have to call him to know what the problem is. Did you quarrel with him or maybe there was a loggerhead with him at some point? Not at all. I don't know why he's treating me like a commoner. Come on, I'm a princess, a gorgeous princess at that. I know, sweetheart. I'm sorry. I know how this feels, okay? See, I've told Fred, if he likes, he can keep 10 million girls there in the city. He is going to get married to you, and that's final, because my word is bond to purity and royalty. You say, my queen. Thank you so much. You're much welcome. <laughs> much, much welcome. My queen, yes, yes. Um, I don't know if you can give me his address. Probably I can just go to the city to see him. Uh, that won't be a problem. However, I, I don't know how he would take it. So let's do this, Joy. Why don't you allow me to speak with him? If he doesn't give me a concrete reason, then I will order you to make the mold. <laughs> perfect. Oh, very perfect. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, cheers. Mm. To royalty, <laughs> purity, and honesty. You can say that again. <laughs> to success. Mm.
Fred? Yes. You like Tony and want to dumb Rita and Steph, right? Yes. Yes. Lately, she has been melting my heart. I love her. But still, I would walk things out with Rita and Stephanie. Okay? I might even pay them off if they want. Because I will not allow anyone to ruin my chances with Tonya. Good. Mm -hmm. Whatever you say, I'm in support, man. Thank you. I'm tired of those girls. Look, you need a fresh start. Someone you've never met before. And that is Tonya. But since she ran into Rita and I in my house and blew things out of proportion, she's, she's been giving me attitude. She's not been talking to me. She's not responding to my messages, my calls. What? Your house? What were you up to? It's not what you think, okay? I only took Rita over there, you know, to open up my mind to her and also to let her know that She's free from me. She's free to live her life. You know? Now I get it. But you never gave Rita any chance. Any girl in her position will react. Not the worst. That's why I have to end things with all of them. I don't want anyone to ruin my chances with Tonya. Girl, I'm so livid right now. I don't even know why I would give someone a chance to treat me this way again. At least you should give him a listening ear to explain himself. Explain what? What explanation does he have? From everything I've explained to you, you should understand that he has you at heart. You're now you're beginning to sound weird. How does he have me at heart? No, how? Please don't irritate me the more. If you don't have something relevant to say, I'll ask you to leave my house now. Okay, you've said that already because that is the only thing I have to say. No, oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I, wait, wait. I, I really do not mean it that way. But you just got me upset. Why would you say that? I've overstayed my welcome. I you need haven't. To leave. I just said I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean it that way. Okay, I take it back. I'm sorry. Why would you why are you angry like So are you are you going to listen to him or not? Tonya, I have to be honest with you. Let me open up to you. Those two girls came into my life differently, separately. I loved them and kept going with them till they both realized they were sharing one man and all hell broke loose. I tried to get out of it, but it, was, it got worse because I knew that I was not doing what my family expects of me as the prince of a kingdom. Hold on. You are what? A prince. You sound strange. You don't look it. You don't move around with maids, guards. You don't even wear royal attires. You yes. live a normal life. Exactly. You said it all. I love to live a normal life. Which has been a battle between myself, my family and my mother. I love to live the simple way, and they hate it. Okay. That's exactly the reason Rita and Stephanie has been on each other's neck, fighting to determine who will be the number one, the one that stays with me. Everything completely changed the moment I saw you. I knew I found something. Like a piece of me that I've been searching for. Uh, well, I don't know what to say. Say something. I have nothing to say. Not now.
Gina, I maintained. Mm. But that was the highest shock of my life. Prince Fred, mm. he's such a humble, nice man. Mm. Mm -hmm. And hope you're ready to give it a go this time around. Mm, not quite. See, I don't want to say, do you love him? Because that would sound so sudden. But do you like him? Of course. I like him a lot. And what if he comes all out? Are you ready to, you know? He's already all out. He has asked I be his girl. He's already all out. He has asked I be his girl. And what was your response? I told him it's 50-50. I'm keen about the ladies in his life. Tony, why not just go straight to the point and give him a straight answer? Why not just give him a straight answer? Hmm. You amaze me. You think those women will just sit and fold their hands and watch you snatch him like that? What is your headache with women that... Oh, see, I think Fred is matured enough to handle things. You get. All you just have to do is to give him the reason to ditch these other girls. By accepting him. Yes. Huh. And that reminds me. Please. My one millionaire. I haven't fallen in love. But you're about to. So Till please, my money. Till then, baby. Give me my money. Till then. Give me my money. My Till one millionaire. Okay. Till What part of don't come to the office we cannot see today, didn't you hear over the phone? Steph? Because I came for something very important. Oh my God. I've, I've, I've told you severally. I don't have time for us to talk now. Soonest, I'll call you so that we can clear the air about us. But for now, no. I'm working. I'm busy. What are you doing? Take a good look at I'm not. You're distracting me, okay? I need to get back to work. Why don't you take a look at that? You see? Sam? Yes. You chose Sam and this stupid Rita over me. You trust them. I told you, Fred. I said, look at me. But you refuse. You believe them. Can you see? That's the new catch you were talking about. But Rita. What transpired between you two? Nothing. Nothing transparent. She was doing all that to make sure Sam is on her side. That's why anytime you both are talking, he's always standing and siding Rita over me. Have you seen it? Your best friend, Sam. When were you going to tell me about it? And when did it all start? Who gave you this video? That is not the answer I expect, Sam. Sorry, I want to know. Because that person seems to be monitoring me for long. And that is inconsequential at this moment. Sam, when did you start seeing Rita? Goodness me! You're supposed to be my friend. You're more than a friend to me. You're like my brother. Was this what you intended to tell me you got involved in? Sam? Fred, I know I offended you. How it all started is a long story. And even more shameful that I got myself involved in it. If it is possible. Let's bury the hatchet. Seems you're already moving on from the girls. Where is the trust, Sam? If I did not see this video, only God, only God can determine how long this, this nonsense would have continued. No, 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 no. 
It already ended. That was what brought about what you just saw in the video. I don't think I can ever trust you again, Sam. Fred, I'm sorry. I don't do anything to get to you on the whole season. Marry me, marry me on the whole season. On the whole season. On the whole season. Marry me, marry me on the whole season. You must marry me. What is the meaning of this madness? Why did you block my gate and still block my entrance? Sam. Sam! What is it? Sam. Who told Fred we have been seeing each other? Um, I tried getting that from him. Fred was annoyed with me. He didn't say anything. Considering the fact that I have destroyed the long-term relationship I had with him and the trust he had on me. Whoever it is has ruined me. He or she has ruined my life. I swear, I will make life miserable for that person. Even if you make life miserable, for this person, it will not change the damage it has caused already. What nonsense are you talking about? What rubbish are you spewing from your mouth? What I'm saying is very simple. And I want you to understand that Fred has moved on. You going back to him is embarrassing yourself the more. So I want you to let everything be by God. Did you say embarrassing? I will not go my way. I love Fred. Fred is my life. No, I cannot leave him. I cannot. Please. Please, please, please. please. Um, Rita, please, can you, can you go and remove your car from that gate? I want to drive inside. Oh, brother Jesus. Again? Are you mad? Like, like that. Like that. <laughs> Your teeth is white. Son? Mother. Mother. Let's go to the dining. Awesome. It's time for us to eat. Come on, let's go. Fred, why would you do that? Why would I do what? She stays off till we're done eating. What? I barely met her. Mother, what does that even mean? To the dining. Now, plenty sacrifice for love, negative. I fit to do anything for my love. 